Children, welcome to your English class. Today we are going to learn a new topic. Page 67. This is a poem called Where Do All the Teachers Go? And the poet is Peter Dixon. Let me read the introduction. For a little child, a teacher is special. It is difficult for a small child to think of his or her teacher as an ordinary person. So, the small children often think that his or her teacher is, his or her teacher is a, a special person. So, we are going to, in this poem, we are going to learn about uh, what, what feelings and thoughts come to the child's mind concerning his or her teacher all right i'm going to give you stanza by stanza explanation and at the end of the video at the end of the explanation i'm going to give you work to do so you have to listen to the explanation carefully now let me read the first stanza where do all the teachers go when it's four o'clock do they live in houses and do they wash their socks? So in the first stanza, the child wonders and questions where all the teachers go after school hours. After school hours. When it is four o'clock, because that's that is the time when school is over. He wants to know if, like any other ordinary people, teachers live in houses and wash their socks, which means that he wonders if teachers also do uh, mundane, ordinary, routine work, like washing socks. Alright, so the second stanza, do they wear pajamas? Pajamas, as you know, is uh, clothing suitable for wearing in bed. Or we can also say that uh, clothes which we wear at home. So... And do they watch TV? And do they pick their noses? Pick noses means uh, poking your nose to clear boogers. The same as you and me. So in the second stanza, the child wants to know if teachers also wear ordinary clothes like pajamas and do ordinary things like watching TV and wasting time. Do they also clean their noses the way other people do? So he wants to know all that in the second stanza. And in the third stanza, Do they live with other people? Have they moms and dads? And were they ever children? And were they ever bad? So the child father wonders by asking if the teachers also live with other people if they also have parents mother and father and where they used to be children like them where they used to be children or did they ever commit any mistakes or did they do anything wrong when they were children so he asked these questions because teachers According to the child, according to children, are uh, in front of the children, teachers usually behave perfectly. They seem to be perfect. So the children is the child is asking all these questions. All these questions come to the child's mind. And uh, the fourth stanza: Did they ever never spell right? Did they ever make mistakes? Were they punished in the corner if they pinched the chocolate flakes? So in the fourth stanza, the poet wants to know if they also made mistakes or were they ever punished at school when they were children, okay, when they were students. Getting uh, punished in the corner means getting punishment of standing in the corner of the classroom so pinch means stall to steal stall okay so the child wonders 
if they also as children if the teachers also made uh, anything made any mistakes or did any silly or uh, naughty thing so that's what he asked in this fourth stanza and the fifth stanza did they ever lose their hymn books did they ever leave their greens did they scribble on the desktops did they wear old dirty jeans scribbling means to do to draw or write something that is not readable okay so the child mind the, the simple mind is also bothered to know if their teachers also ever lost their religious books or we can say songbook uh, and uh, did they ever did they ever not want to eat their vegetables okay leave their greens means not wanting to eat their green vegetables did they also waste their time by scribbling something on the desk or did they ever wear torn and old jeans like ordinary people so in the last stanza he says i'll follow one back home today i'll find out what they do then i'll put it in a poem that they can read to you so to fulfill his curiosity to fulfill his interest in the teachers the child decides to follow his teacher on his way home after school and once he is clear about everything he would also like to write he would also like to compose a poem about it and thinks that the teacher would read that poem to his students so that is the explanation of the poem it's very easy to understand and now i want you to open page 68 working with the poem question number two sub number one and two i'm going to tell you the answer to these two questions and i want you to write your answer from your understanding of my explanation all right now what do you think these phrases from the poem mean number one punished in the corner i already told you that punished in the corner means getting punishment of standing in the corner of the classroom and number two leave their greens means not wanting to eat green vegetables all right that is the uh, homework i want you to write the answer uh, in your notebook and also you you will need to copy down question and answer in your notebook i want you to write neatly all right uh, that is all for today thank you